What's up, y'all? It's your girl, TJ Moses, and I just had the best time in Chicago. Thank you, AfroTrack. Thank you, Chicago. I had a great night. Until next time, I love y'all. <laughs> See you later. We ain't gotta make it I'm really on your mind. Show me now. So tell me more about like the Chicago, New Orleans vibe and like what you think about, you know, coming from where you come from and then like, you know, performing here and, you know, the artistic nature of what's been here. Like, well, I think ultimately, and I'm not trying to, you know, give it all, like refer it back to the South, but I think that all of you guys' grandparents, Come from where I'm from, yep, you know, yep. from Louisiana, from mm -hmm. Arkansas, Mississippi, from Mississippi, Texas, you know. So everyone migrated up this way, yep. and they brought all that sauce. Yep. And y'all have a boiling pot of sauce in Chicago. I think that the food is great. I mean, you have like the best chefs. I go to museums here that blow my mind, mm -hmm. and they really do outdo New York museums. You know, I feel like the uh, culture here is continuously and forever thriving. Yep. I never come here and it's short of some great experience that like sparks you and insp inspires you as a creative. I would come here and do shows and I would stay two extra days just to vibe. Ooh, you know I, I love mean? it. I love it. I love yeah. it. Yeah. I mean, we ain't going to get into Chicago. Now? Are you staying Are you staying No, now? I, I got to go. I got to go home. We got work to do. But I'm not going to even get into Chicago house music. You know yes, what I'm saying? So yes. like, it's like, it's just like we spoke about earlier. You guys gave us Kanye. Yeah. And no matter what you think of Kanye, if you are creative, you have to. Um, respect, respect yeah. what he has done as a creative and the boundaries and the leaps and you know jumps he's taken so Chicago is just I mean you've given us far more than that's just what comes to mind right away but honestly I just think Chicago is just a really cool city now the wind will take your face off <laughs> <laughs> they say the hawk gonna get you oh, you, ever, you ever experienced the hawk oh I have experienced the hawk <laughs> hawk girl I've been standing in the lake before just all I did was come out of the hotel and then I step out of the hotel and, and my face is down the street blowing in the wind and I'm like faceless. Like it's it's too much. So I like y'all in the fall yep. and the spring. Yeah. I don't really like your summers or your winters because no, summers you, are hot. You gotta come to the summer though. You but they're so hot. But look, spend time here okay. during the summer. Okay. We're gonna take you we gonna kick in the Yeah, we're gonna kick in the summer. All right, all right. Yeah. So tell me a little bit more about the show tonight. Ooh. I feel like the energy was like oh. electric. I had never seen you perform live. Oh, I had it's, so you were vibe. Much fun. I had so much fun that I started forgetting my cues. Uh, like, and it wasn't, I drink when I'm on stage. It's kind of like a prop. Mm -hmm. I, I drink maybe two, three sips before I get on stage. The rest of it, I just kind of sip. It's just a prop. You know, yeah. I'm not intoxicated, but I'm, I've drank enough to like calm my nervousness. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So when I come out, I got all this adrenaline. I had this. <laughs> Was I you. had this button when I came out, but it started strangling me. I couldn't breathe. So I'm up here just like trying to grab it up. Once I got this loose, it was over it, you know? And the people were just, the love that was being thrown at me and the energy that was being thrown at me gave me no choice but to turn up. Yeah, you know? you... And I, I loved every minute of it. I enjoyed, my band was on tonight. Like I just had a good time tonight. Yeah, they, they, and you could tell that you guys are feeding off each other. Oh yeah. The energy is and really good. And they do things on stage. People always say, why do you turn around so much? Cause we're having fun. Yeah. So yeah. I turn up cause they'll do something. I hear it in my ear. I'm like, Ooh, he killed that. You know what I like, mean? Ooh, do, they do, do, do a do, lick do, or something. Do, do, yeah. Ah. And so we're enjoying ourselves. We mm. all had a really good time tonight. So much so we're not even going to the hotel. We're going out. After oh, this, I'm know? with you. I haven't slept. I think the last I slept was like night before last. Okay. That was my last time actually having about five hours of sleep. But it's okay. I'll just stay up all night and party and then I'll go get a plane tomorrow. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. So you're a creative creative, like I was saying before, and you're... It's the music, is you know, vocal, is writing, producing. What vibe do you have to do, be in to do separate things, right? Like, is there a specific vibe that you have to be in to write or to sing or like, how do you prepare yourself? Can I speak honestly? Yeah, no always, problem. don't, we don't do that. Um, okay, so I smoke. Okay. I smoke hella weed. Okay. You know? And to be honest with you, I've, I have like anxiety and stuff and like, 
you know, I'll get blockage sometime when I'm trying to create because I'm thinking too much. Mm -hmm. And I just have this habit of smoking. If it's music, then I'll put on a track or sometimes I'll smoke with no music and the songs start to come to me. Mm -hmm. It's just a trigger. The smoking trigger is like openness. Like freeness. Yeah. It yeah. kind of lets, lets all the guards down and then anything is free to come to my mind and for me to like begin a creation of something. It's I mean, I can draw as well and I'll just sit there and I'll just smoke and just be vibing and all of a sudden I feel my hand moving. You know, it's just like I think... Um, I can do anything creative without smoking, but I think doing it with smoking just makes it more fun. You know what I'm saying? It just relaxes Did me. Did you smoke before the show today? Nah, I don't smoke. I don't smoke before shows. Oh, so, because, so when you're singing, you... Yeah, because no, okay. like I said, tonight I got so comfortable and so free, I started like thinking we was in my living room. So if I smoke, I'm going to get too loose. And okay. I might just like go off, you know, this is a show and it's a job, so yep. I can't smoke before I go stage, but I do drink just to like... Loosen, loosen my mood, you yeah. know, and it's not a lot of drinking. I drink mm -hmm. one glass of something, you know, I'll drink more later, but I like to get on stage with enough control, but relax a little bit. Mm -hmm. But when I'm creating music or drawing or I like interior design, I like um, redoing furniture and stuff like that. I think if you're creative, you can work in any medium. Mm -hmm. I think that you can do anything. You just have to focus in to do it, you know? Mm -hmm. And sometimes when one is down, the other one's up. Like, so if yeah. I'm not able to write, then maybe I can really, really draw. But if I'm writing, I'm heavy in my writing, I can't draw a thing, you know? Or like right now, I just bought a home in New Orleans, so I'm decorating that. And I just sit there and I smoke and just get into it, just sit at the walls. Like the other night, I was just sitting there smoking, looking at the wall. And I grabbed the wallpaper and I was like, I could do this. I just did the whole wall of wallpaper, you know. Wait, like, what? Yeah, I just did wallpaper, you know. You so you drew the wallpaper? No, no, no. I oh. put it up. But okay. I don't know if you ever tried to put up wallpaper. Yeah, it's hard to tell. You it's did it by yourself. Hard. I did it by myself. And you I was high. I was high as hell, and I did it fabulously, girl. I was so proud of myself. I kept start FaceTiming everybody, like, girl, that's what I did. But yeah, like that's how it is. Like, um, I smoke and then something stirs inside of me, and I, I just instantly start to create, and I have fun doing it. You know? mm. And so it, 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 it's not a job anymore. No, point. it's never a job. When it becomes a job, like tonight was so fun. Yeah. Tonight you, was not you work at like all. You were a I just ball. had a good time. I just had a really good time. And when it's like that, I think the results are just, you feel that energy in the results, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Tell me more about your boys. So I know you're a twin mama, and I'm a twin mama you're too. Twin, mama. twin boys. <laughs> oh my God, yeah. how old are they? They're eight. Oh, so you you so beginning I, the I'm journey? Just, I, yeah, you got to tell me end. about you got to tell me about oh, yeah. them. I'm not the end, but like <laughs> I'm like in the point where they're off on their own. Um, my sons Raz and Taj Austin, they are half of the group Post Contra, mm -hmm. which is a phenomenal rap group that I think that is um, like genuine, true root yeah. hip hop, but mm -hmm. pro progressive at the same time. Okay. And I think that they're brilliant writers, and I'm not just saying that because they're my children. I think they write from a place that people can genuinely genuinely feel they don't just get on a mic and say anything any, yeah you know drug induced thing you know they just come from a clear mind a spiritual place and i think they have great quality control on levels of what is brilliance and what is mediocrity you know mm -hmm. what i mean and i think they do a great job and i love them so much and, and they're doing really well and i'm very so very good. proud of them very, it's very so proud. it's so it makes me so proud to see other women so proud of their children yes ones that have raised them yes. and done so on them, their own. Yes. And I won't say on their own because we know there's a it's village. It's a village. It's a but village. But it wasn't a father involved. It, hello. <laughs> you know hello. I mean? It's right. a village, but there was so many wonderful. My, their uncle, my brother was there. Their uncle, my brother-in-law was there. You know what I mean? And so they had a lot of love around them. And that love still supports them to this day. The same love that supported me to be a creative mm -hmm. is the same love for me. Uh, supporting them to be creative and our family is not like you're going to be an artist it's like oh okay come on let's do yeah, it because it's like, what we do you understand got? what it is we understand that this is something that's passed on generationally generationally my mother was an artist as well she was a gospel singer she could do pottery mm -hmm. like we're just creatives and I understand that's part of like our ministry yeah you know yeah. our family ministry is to do to be creative and I want to say this too I was proud of my sons before anybody ever knew who they were. Mm -hmm. I was extremely proud of them because you know why? They're good young men. They're and they, very good. They, I also believe that children, I mean, our sons, and they are who they've been since they were born. Yes, yes they were. Right? They were. So, it, so, so there is no so like. So I saw their light yeah. before the mm -hmm. world even got a chance to see them. So, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm very proud of them. That's amazing. Thank you for asking me. Yeah, <laughs> no, I love that. I love that. 
Okay, so you gotta tell me about this. Kate Trinata mm -hmm. and my girl, like that vibe and the vibe that you get from the music that you're doing in collaboration with others, I love it. Thank you. And I wanna know a little bit more about collaboration with you and what that looks like. And like how, how, it, how, how it starts, like how it's it- It's extremely organic. Mm -hmm. I can't force it. Okay, so I'm gonna say something that sounds really vulgar, but it's not. So, to, to me, making music is like having sex, mm -hmm. all right? You can get two people that are like sex goddesses and they just like, oh, they ooze They sex. ooze it. When you put them together, they don't work because it's just not chemistry, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And I think that you can get two people that, you know, one may be this and one may be that, and you put them together and it just works. And I think that's how it is for me, for music. I can't fake sex. I'm not one of those women that fake orgasms. That's not my ministry. No, nope. nope. mine either. Um, not the will of the Lord concerning <laughs> no. me. And so, and it's like, I'm not gonna fake it in music. I, I like genuineness. I like, I think as long as it's authentic, it's timeless. Do you mm -hmm. understand what I'm saying? So I, that's how my coll collaborations come about. You know, it was genuine with me and, and Kay. Like we co got together, made a record. Like it was already there. And he's like, okay, let's do this. And we, and, and we did it, you know, um, with me and like someone else I have a great chemistry with from my first early years was Raphael Sadiq. Yeah. I have a guy yeah. by the name of Trackademics out of uh, the Bay Area. We have great, he's a producer, great chemistry. Um, Bink from VA, great chemistry, but these are not, these, this is never anything forced. Yeah, I never like they put when I was on a, a indie label. Now I'm just on my own label, but early my early years when I first put out my first album, I was on. They would put me with like bigger uh, producers and stuff like that, and I just be sitting there looking, and they looking at me. Right, and nothing comes it's out. It's nothing here. But when it's organic, it works very well. And, um, to be honest with you, speak of collaborations, once I put out this next album, I think everything I do after that is gonna be collaborative. Like in a sense of like collaborative EPs, maybe with an artist, collaborative EPs with a producer, but I just wanna put out five song EPs because first of all, putting out albums is like stressful. I just wanna put you do out every, five Cause you do everything on the album, everything. right? Yeah. For your like solo? even if somebody produces, I sing everything, I write everything, I vocal produce everything, but even if someone gives me a beat, I'm probably gonna sit there and figure out how we can make it better. You know what I mean? So like, mm -hmm. I put a lot of pressure on myself and collaborative would be like heaven in me because somebody taking the weight with me, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. I love everything that you did tonight. I feel like it was, it's beautiful. And I think the other part that I'm like, I consider, with creatives is like, how do you get on the journey and stay on the journey? Cause you've been in this for, you, you've you been holding it down for a long time. When you have no other choice. Mm. Like you can't say, okay, that's a bird. That bird's gonna stop flying probably about 10 years. You know what I mean? Or that's, that's a crocodile. It's gonna just go into the ocean and never come out. That's not how life goes. You are what God made you. And you were that when you were born and you will continue being that until you die. You know, like, that's just how I feel. I feel like, I feel like he gave me this to share it. And so sometimes it's hard because of politics and all those other things to put out music or just frustrations or not focus, whatever. But that stage and those, that audience, I will do that until I can't anymore because mm -hmm. that's something that I literally see the result of me giving love and getting it back. Like mm -hmm. it's just such a Where did you start? Thing. Where did you start like performing? Like live Los performance? Los Angeles. Okay. Yeah, I got a deal first, then I started performing. Okay. And I would have so much energy. You think I got energy now? I've calmed down so much. I literally used to look like a rapper on stage. You like just there, like... so much energy, so much energy. <laughs> and I've calmed it down now, but I've always just had a high level of energy, which was kind of contradicted to my, t my style of music right. is so mellow. Right. But I'm, I'm a fire sign, I'm a Sagittarius. I'm, nothing about me is mellow. Sag. I'm so lit, bro. Oh, like, I'm literally. Aquarius. Oh, my yes. sisters, my mother was. Like, I get along with everybody. Yep. I'm one of those signs that's kind of like, I get, I'm flexible, I get along yeah, with Yeah, Sag is so, you guys are so fierce. We're Aquarius. obnoxious yeah. sometimes, but, <laughs> <laughs> but we cool, though. <laughs> okay, so what would you tell women who are coming up in the industry? What would be your like biggest tip for them? But don't sleep with the money. Mm. Number one, you know, you can dangle it in their face all day and get them to do what you want to do, but don't ever get up the goods. Mm -hmm. Never. You know, sleep with a bum before you sleep with the money because you could toss the bum to the side, but if you toss the man with the money to the side, you can toss yourself out the side. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Don't put yourself in no position to be under anybody's thumb. Mm -hmm. And I think as a woman, you just have to carry yourself with a lot of confidence, even if you don't pretend to have it until you get it. Put, put yourself in a place where you got somebody around protecting you. 
because you are vulnerable when you're a young woman. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? As you get older, you you know, it's vulnerable because you, you're tougher, your skin's tougher. But, you know, put put find people around you that are going to protect you and you get to be vulnerable without being taken advantage of. But don't sleep with the money. Mm-hmm. Don't sleep with nobody in a position to get you some money. Get mm-hmm. the money. Don't sleep with them. That's yeah. my number one thing is I think women in music, they get in, they get into these relationships with people are, you know, you start off collaborating and it feels like it should be love, but it's, it's really it's just a thing, creative right? collaboration. Mm-hmm. And you have to understand the difference between those things. Mm-hmm. And I see a lot of young women and uh, women my age get caught up in, uh, you know, in the mixing bu- it up. In the bullshit. The bullshit. Girl. For real. <laughs> and that's not that's not conducive to what we need to be doing to accomplish what God has put us out here to do. I mean, do what you want, have fun and whatever, blah, blah, but focus on your mission at hand. So don't mix that up. That would be my mm-hmm. thing. Mm-hmm. Well, I love talking to you. Thank you so much. Thank you, too. Thank you for coming to Chicago. I appreciate it so much. I absolutely enjoyed Chicago. I think this was one of my most fun shows. Um, since the first show I did since I've been back in New York City. You guys, like, really, really, y'all bless my soul tonight. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you I so much. I appreciate it. Aw, twin moms. Twin moms. <laughs>